And now, your Fox 34 Weather Authority forecast with Chief Meteorologist Matt Ernst. The wind has dropped off now. It's southwesterly at about 5 to 12 miles per hour. Earlier today was looking against that scientific thing of just like looking up in the sky. And I was thinking, oh, the smoke's a little bit thicker today than I realized. No, that's actually the dust. That kind of sums up 2020, just how dry it's been here. We're trying to decipher, is it the smoke? Is it the dust? It sure isn't a rain cloud that's overhead, that is for sure, and that's the way it's been for quite some time. Well, the wind is going to get stronger here in just a few hours. This shows it at about 1 a.m., the front moving across our area and the wind ramping up. A lot of times these fronts come in a little bit ahead of what the computer guidance shows, so we'll say about midnight, 1, 2 a.m. We should see that wind kicking up. It's going to be strong through morning. May drop off a little bit around sunrise. This is 7 a.m., then we go ahead through the morning, and you still see it's persistent northeast. Easterly. I think for a little while the strongest will be 30, but for much of at least the first half of the day, about 20, 25 miles per hour, it should drop off some by the afternoon back down to about 15. Then it will be a lot lighter as we go into Friday morning, which means a cold start Friday morning and then for the afternoon, not too bad on Friday. So outside it's still mild right now after a high of 97 setting the record for the date. We've now dropped off into the 80s across West Texas, 49 to start, but it's going to feel colder because of that north wind. 65 at noon, 69 for the afternoon high, well below average tomorrow. Typical temp is in the mid to upper 70s right now. So about 39 in the morning at Muleshoe, 48 Floyd data, 52 at Jayton, and about 51 at O'Donnell and La Mesa. Big difference for the afternoon, close to 70 area wide from uh, 67 at Morton to 73 at Jayton, 72 at Spur. Now this front is moving through dry, at least here. You can see it just passes across our region, clear uh, ahead of it, clear back behind it. Sunny day tomorrow. There should be more clouds over into North Texas. Maybe even East Texas will get some light rain, but for us, it's going to be sunny over the next few days and really sunny next couple of weeks. Still no dramatic change on that outlook. At least it won't be quite as hot downstate. They may get some rain heading into Friday, so it's still the back and forth on the temperature after 97 today, about 69 tomorrow, windy first part of the day, 37 on Friday morning. I think to the northwest at Farwell, Muleshoe, Las Buddy, we could be down to a freeze to start Friday, then 67 for the afternoon. After that, another big jump in the temp, upper 80s on Saturday. And there is still a lot of uncertainty next week. It's going to be dry. Nothing, you know, obviously it's where we've been for weeks and weeks and months and months. It looks sunny and dry, but some computers have it a lot cooler. Some other computer model runs have it a lot warmer. So for now we're showing 70s and 80s. Still think we're going to have to modify these numbers a bit in our forecast in the coming days. So kind of uncertain on the temp there, but definitely much cooler next few days. Curtin Rachel.